Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the construction that's going on on the Melrose Hill Bypass. So this bypass is going to be incorporated into Highway 2000. So it's going to become a four lane dual carriageway, just like the um, other sections of Highway 2000. So here straight ahead is the Melrose Hill Bypass. That's where we are and we are just taking a look at what's going on now you can see it's going to be four lanes and it's going to have entrance ramps and exit ramps to get on and off the highway so this section now they are making it into four lanes and putting in a concrete barricade to separate the road so that's the work that we're looking at straight ahead and we are in manchester the May the melrose hill bypass is a bypass for the Melrose Hill as the name indicates and that's Melrose Hill on the right and this bypass takes you from Williamsfield to Poros in Manchester so let's continue the tour So now since the road is under construction, it is, you can only drive in one direction and that's from Poros to Williamsfield. Recently, somebody tried driving from Williamsfield, even though the road was blocked off, from Williamsfield to Poros and there was an accident because traffic is not two ways, it's supposed to be one way. So on the right, they are putting in two additional lanes and then the concrete barricade will go in and then they'll convert the road we're on into two lanes of highway quality road. This is actually the original road, the Melrose Hill Bypass, which was two lanes in some sections. So they are converting it to four lanes because it's going to be a part of Highway 2000. Now Highway 2000 is a project to build a highway from Kingston to Montego Bay. The idea was to connect both international airports and both cities, Kingston and Montego Bay. So they wanted to build a road in one go. And this was years ago this project started when PJ Patterson was the Prime Minister of Jamaica. And All right, let's just see what's going on here. It's like they're building one of the entrance ramps or exit ramps here. Okay, so they wanted to build a highway in one go, but it turned out to be too expensive. So they decided to build a highway in phases or section. So the section from Kingston to Maypen was built and it's operational. And then now they're building the Maypen to Mandeville Leg, which is where we are now. This section is under construction and it should finish sometime this year. This ex the last completion date I saw was March 2023 and they said the highway is over 20% complete, 90% complete, sorry. So we'll see what's going on with that. So they are building it out to Williamsfield, that's where this highway will currently end. But they're also working on the sections in Montego Bay. Like the Montego Bay Perimeter Road is going to be a part of Highway 2000. That's why they're building um, toll plazas as a part of that project. And then the Long Hill Bypass is going to be a part of Highway 2000 and they're working on that. And then they're going to build a bypass for Spur Tree Hill and that will also be a part of Highway 2000. So a lot of work is being done for Highway 2000. The main highway, which is where we are now, will end in, in Williamsfield. And then they're going to build the Spur Tree Hill Bypass, which will be a part of it. And then the highway will run through St. Elizabeth, come down through Anchovy, go through Long Hill, and then come down to Bogue in Montego Bay. So that is the current alignment. And the Long Hill Bypass, I'm not sure if they've actually started the work, but the project has been finalized. And the Bogue Road, 
or the Montego Bay Perimeter Road, that project has actually started. So, we'll keep you guys updated on those projects. We're going to take a tour through the western part of the island to just give you guys an update as to what's going on with those projects. So here now, on the right, you can see the two lanes that have been built. Remember, this road is going to be four lanes with a concrete barricade. So you see, they have built two lanes on the right, or they're under construction, and you're going to have two lanes on the left, or the road that we're actually driving on, where you see these cars. So that will make four lanes, and then you see them working on the, the concrete thing in the middle. Let's take another tour. They seem to be digging down this hill. Not sure why. Maybe it's one of the entrance ramps or exit ramps to the highway. Well, clearly they have um, enough space to build the four lanes. I'm not sure how this part comes into it, but they are digging down the hill here. All right, guys, we'll find out what's going on here and give you guys an update. So remember to like, share, and subscribe. Also leave your comments in the section below. All right, guys. Have a good day.